Hi friends, today we are going to see demo on SQL scripting series uh, basic script game, basic scripting and this is the uh, very basic uh, demo video which will get you introduced with the SQL uh, way of writing the procedure rather than the our previous JavaScript. So let's start with the demo. So here I am going to uh, create a database called SQL scripting and I'm going to use the default public schema for my entire uh, SQL scripting demo. So if I refresh on the left side, you can see the database SQL scripting has been created and there is a public schema by default created. So I'm going to use the same and you can see on the context, I have this database and the schema selected. Now I would like to introduce you with a very basic procedure. Uh, using SQL uh, language rather than JavaScript which, were, which we were using earlier. So all the syntax are almost same uh, except the instead of using language equal to JavaScript we are using here language is equal to SQL. So that's the major change you have to do when you are using SQL rather than JavaScript for writing the <coughs> SQL scripting. This is the dollar sign which which uh, marks the body start and the end of the body. So if you are writing anything, uh, you have to uh, cover that uh, uh, coding inside this dollar dollar. So this dollar dollar act as a starting and an ending point for a procedure. So for this, I'm going to uh, in, uh, write a very basic uh, hello world uh, uh, program. Or a procedure which will just take the input as a string and if you pass the name it will print that hello with the name if you don't pass the parameter it will default it with the world and it will print hello world so what I did I just did the language here I'm just creating the database with one parameter called p name return is the varchar which will the exact value uh, revert uh, after concatenating the both the variables language equals to SQL and then I just took created a variable with v greeting as hello and then I put the message as null initialize the variable with the null value and in the body I am just concatenating the v greeting uh, variable with the p name and if p name is null I am just defaulting that with the world and then I am returning the v message so let me create this uh, procedure now I am executing with using the call command same as we were using in the JavaScript. So there is no change in the calling part. So if I am passing my name as Rajiv, it will print me hello Rajiv. If I am not passing any parameter, it will print hello world. So that's a very basic program how you can write the procedure. Uh, <coughs> sorry. But then the question arises if I don't want to create the procedure. If I don't want to create the procedure because it's a one time testing or one time uh, thing you want to do, you can also write the NMS block without creating any procedure. So, how we can do that? So, to do that, if you are using any parameter, uh, then you, you can use the uh, session variable to uh, instead of uh, like uh, we are passing the parameter in the procedure so replace or mimic that functionality we can set the session level variable and then we can use the session level variable in the NMS block to execute the NMS block we have to use the execute immediate command so execute immediate command uh, uh, with this double dollar sign uh, will treat this uh, uh, block uh, as a temporary block of uh, SQL and then execute that within the session. So whatever you have written within the dollar sign in the procedure will be exact same code over here. So there is no change on the code. The only difference will be uh, here we have to pass the dollar parameter name instead of uh, diet parameter name case of procedure. So we have to just write the dollar p name and rest all the code will remain same. So what I'm doing here, I'm just setting the P name for the session level variable for Rajiv. And then I'm executing this uh, NMS block. 
and it will give me the same result as hello Rajiv. If I unset this parameter and if I pass this without any uh, like say if I do it as a null and if I execute this now it will print the hello world. So the output is same the way of execution is different between procedure versus anonymous block how we do that that same code so we can achieve the same output either via procedure or with the anonymous block as well so suppose say if you have a uh, you say as a, if you have a requirement wherein you are not sure about your final sql statement say your sql statement is a dynamic sql statement which gets generated by uh, various permutation and combination and at the end you get a final SQL statement right so in that case how you can utilize the NMS block is like in a similar way you can take two parameter two session level variable say uh, you set the parameter as a prim, uh, like p name as Rajiv which you are going to use within this uh, program and you can also create another session level variable which you will store your dynamic SQL so this will be a uh, string which which is getting generated based on certain permutation combination and then at the end you are just initializing the session level parameter with that string like this and then if you execute using execute immediate rather than within the here it will just work similar way so here you can see if i have not passed anything it will print the hello world so if i say p name rajiv and this SQL and then if I execute it should print hello Rajiv but if I remove this and make it null like earlier it should print hello world see hello world so the output is same and these are the three different uh, example by which I show you how you can achieve the same output either by via procedure either by NMS block or uh, or via dynamic SQL like say you can also use the dynamic SQL to generate the uh, code which you want and at the end you can assign that final code uh, version of the code into a session level variable and then execute that variable with using executing with it. So I'm just uh, resetting the variable which I have just set. So this was the very uh, simple demo which I wanted to show you this will just give you the feeling and it's a very first uh, video which will introduce you with, with the world of all together new feature of SQL scripting. Hope you like this video and if you like the video please uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you.